There once lived a family of five sisters: the mango, the fig, the jamun, the tamarind, and the banana. As girls grew older, their father grew worried that they weren't married yet and asked each of them what kind of husbands they wanted. "I don't want a husband at all," said the banana. "I only want children." Find out what happened next in this lovely tribal tale in this episode of Tree Talk. So the story goes that after hearing their father, fig, jamun, mango and tamarind agreed to get married. In time, the father found them suitable husbands and the girls settled down. Soon, they had plenty of children. But eventually, they had so many children that their husbands ran away in fright. The girls then took birth in their next life as trees and the trees born from them are symbolically their children. But remember there was a fifth daughter? What happened to Banana? She had told her father that she didn't want a husband but that she wanted children. Well, turns out she had children too, many many of them, and she did that without a husband. And would you believe it? The banana plant too bears fruit without pollination or fertilization. This tale comes to us from the Gadaba tribe who are found residing in the states of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh in India. More on the Gadaba tribe and my source for this story listed in the description below the video. Far from being flights of fantasy, some of these tribal tales do contain a kernel of truth. For instance, did you know that the banana reproduces parthenogenetically, that is without fertilization? No need for a husband, just like in the story. More on parthenogenesis in another episode, but for now, do pause to reflect upon how beautifully this tribal Indian tale ties in to this phenomenon about the banana. The topic of forest land and tribal rights have been brought into focus by the latest film Kantara that has taken the country by storm. On another note, I have heard people saying that organized forest management began only during the British era. But is that really true? In the next episode, I'm going to take you back in time and give you a peek into how forests were perceived and managed in ancient India. You'll find plenty of stories and snippets like these including tips to identify the common trees you see around you in the series Tree Talk on my YouTube channel. Do check it out and subscribe to stay posted.